Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be removing the uh, pistons and the crank and uh, whatever is left on the block. So it's uh, prepped to go to the machine shop to get uh, hot paint and the design machine to be done to get that done too. And we'll uh, follow that up with removing the valves and uh, valve springs and cylinder head and uh, basically getting it ready for uh, the cleaning. And then we can start doing the porting manifolds and all that good stuff. So this will be a pretty quick one today because they're basically just uh, down to the last few items. So thanks for watching and uh, enjoy going. So we're going to remove number one. Boom. And so you're going to want to just put your uh, hand underneath and catch the piston to get it off. That loop right there. And then tap. Uh, so I should note that these have the little pointer. Uh, I like the little bump pointing forward on the piston, you know, towards cylinder one. So just keep that in mind as you're putting them back together. That's the way they go back together. And then you're going to want to just put some rubber over uh, the rub bolts, just like that. Bump. And so they're like rubber hoses there, so when it's uh, coming out the board, it's not um, up scratching down the side of the cylinders.
Okay, so just like before, uh, we're just going to break loose all the uh, main bearing caps. Uh, the seven of those. It's like now that we got all those bolts out, just kind of give these a little tap. You can see right there, it's got a little bit of a pointer. So that's always point the wood cylinder along. So it's like we got this back uh, seal cover off already. I mentioned earlier. Just gonna let this thing out of here. And so you can see looking at uh, from the bottom side of the block, uh, there's these little spurters right here. It's like they're actually squirting oil at the top of the piston on the, uh, the like bottom side of the piston, I should say. And it's, it's good for controlling temperature. You often don't see these in uh, road car engines, but I, I think they were just trying to be super reliable with this engine. So we get the benefit from that by not needing to add those because they're kind of difficult to add afterwards. So the fact that they came uh, factory is awesome. So you can see they all got one, one each cylinder. Yeah, so you're just going to want to clean those out before reassembly. I'm going to remove them right now. Uh, so that's going to be it for the block uh, for now. I'm going to send it off to the machine shop now. We're going to move back to the cylinder head and remove valves, valve springs, and retainers. See how I've got the cylinder head sitting up in blocks? Uh, that's so you can you can like reach under and actually like push the valve up if it's actually stuck to the retainer, which is likely to happen on an engine this, uh, this old. So I just wanted to uh, show you that real quick. What we're going to be doing here is uh, removing the retainers, which is uh, these little wedges right in there. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it. But like, uh, basically you just need to be able to push down on the valve spring and uh, gain access to uh, the retainer with the magnet. Uh, so what I've done is, I'm going to use this here. That's just a home built one, but uh, basically the magnet will fit through the side there once it's pushed down. So these retainers are actually stuck. I couldn't even push up with a finger, so. And so it's just gotta fit right here. It's like you don't want it to not touch the sides because the uh, bucket actually like slides up and down in there. And so, so you want that to just sit right in the center and then just give it a little tap. And just go down the line. So that one actually just popped out the retainer. That will happen sometimes, not usually though. Can you see there? All the springs and valves out. 
should look something like that. And they're all numbered one through six. And then I'm just gonna put them away for now. We probably won't end up like using any of this, but just in case, we're gonna keep them and we're gonna keep them organized. One through six. Thanks for watching uh, part four of this build series. Uh, that's gonna conclude it for the engine disassembly. So I'm just gonna get all these parts cleaned up. I'm not gonna show you any of that. It's, it's just a mess. So I'm gonna clean the cylinder head first and then just uh, start getting some of the small parts. And then we'll start doing some porting on the head on the exhaust and the intake side.